This week on the show, we have social media star, singer, songwriter, actor, and content creator, Jacob Satorius. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding the importance of being yourself without caring what other people think. The truth is your positive and outgoing energy might intimidate others. Be fierce anyways. When you are confident in who you are, you're not afraid to authentically show up. This means you are unabashedly yourself and stand in your truth no matter what situation you're put into. The reality is, with doing so, there will be those people who love and adore you. But there will also be those people who might criticize or be intimidated by the big energy you bring. We were all put on this earth to shine bright and show up into the world, being our most authentic and true self. Make it your mission today to show up authentically and confidently in every situation you're faced with without worrying what other people think. By doing so, we bring forth our unique personalities and energies to the world without being influenced by the opinions of others. It's only then that we can be truly liberated and step confidently into our most authentic self. As Ralph Waldo Emerson quotes, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is a greatest accomplishment. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. In 2016, you were the most searched Google artist. So, so let's talk about that. Why do you think people really resonate so much with your music? Because you have a huge fan base. Um, that's crazy, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I think that, I, I think it's just because it's real, you know, I try to write stuff that, uh, comes from a real place and that feels absolutely real to me, you know, so that, um, when I'm, when it's put out and when I'm on tour and when somebody clicks onto the song, hopefully they can, um, understand that these are just universal emotions because we all feel um, emotions and I'm trying my best to put words to the emotion and then put it out to people in hopes that they can relate but I think um, I don't know I'm just grateful that was cra that's a crazy stat wardrobe provided by H&M next up on the show we have American singer actor and internet personality Jacob Sartorius Jacob thank you so much for being on the show today how are you doing I'm doing great thank you for having me this is awesome. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here and making it work. We're so excited to talk to you. So let's take it back to the beginning. Everyone knows you as a social media star, an actor, a singer. So I know that you started um, being in musicals at seven years old. So how did that develop your love for music? Oh, I played like one of the biggest roles in planting that seed early on. Um, because with musical theater, you know, you audition singing a song and then you're dancing and you're acting. So it really threw me into like all of that, just live entertainment, which really was the huge, you know, spark for moving forward and loving music so much. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, you know, you leverage platforms like Vine and Musical.ly. So, so let's talk about that and how you were able to get your music across for people to hear. Yeah, just in any way that I can, you know, I started um, on Vine just posting, um, my first Vine was actually an anti-bullying Vine, and then I also let people into my comedic side through these little skits that I do, and I'd add music in the background, which was a great way to, uh, you know, promote whatever song I'm listening to, find what songs match what vibes, and, you know, once I started making my own original music, it was really cool because I could incorporate it through apps like Musical.ly and um, you know it, they're great promotional tools as well as just a good way to um, connect with people let people know what you're up to you know yeah and let's talk about that I know that you know you use social media as a way to escape bullying and as, as well as get out of your shell because I know um, I read in an article that you know you're very shy and this kind of helped you to get out of your shell so let's talk about that uh, yeah, it helped me embrace a side of myself that was um, 
maybe more goofy, more outgoing. Um, and yeah, I think it definitely uh, was a cool way for me to show a different side of myself to people. Um, Cause, and get comfortable in front of the camera, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and in 2016, you were the most searched Google artist. So, so let's talk about that. Why do you think people really resonate so much with your music? Because you have a huge fan base. Um, that's crazy, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I think that I think it's just because it's real, you know. I try to write stuff that uh, comes from a real place and that feels absolutely real to me, you know. So that um when i'm when it's put out and when i'm on tour and when somebody clicks onto the song hopefully they can um understand that these are just universal emotions because we all feel um emotions and i'm trying my best to put words to the emotion and then put it out to people in hopes that they can relate but i think um i don't know i'm just grateful that was cra that's a crazy stat when it's yeah. set up like yeah that. <laughs> absolutely but, uh, <laughs> I'm very grateful for the fans, you know, and appreciative for all that they've done. Because that wasn't me Googling. <laughs> that. <laughs> so thank you to them. And, um, uh, yeah, I just hope to continue to uh, connect and relate in different ways moving forward, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about your new music. Um, you released on April 20th, Worth It. And Fear of Intimacy was released on February 2nd, 2022. So let's talk about that song and what inspired it. Absolutely. Um, well, Fear of Intimacy is a song that I wrote about um, some of my biggest fears, you know, just opening up, um, being vulnerable. And yeah, it felt good to get that off my chest. You know, I have a fear of dying alone when nobody's home. I have a fear of bonding in deep relationships. And, um, you know, I think opening up about that stuff really helped me. And then with Worth It, you know, it kind of ties to Fear of Intimacy in the sense of, um, you know, Worth It talks about how the world isn't perfect, but I still think that it's worth it to stay. You know, the glass half full, glass half empty um, analogy or metaphor, it's, um, it's a good one. But I think if you spend too long thinking, is the glass half full, half empty? I think I just want to say it's worth it to stay, stick around and, um, you know, a lot of goods on the way. It's worth it. Whether it's half full, half empty, it's worth it to be here and to uh, um, enjoy this amazing experience of life. Mm, I, I like that. You know, a lot of the stuff you talked about are really deep and real emotions that most people, you know, face, but they don't talk about it. So I love that you're, you know, bringing this to the forefront and talking about your, your, you know, your deepest fears. Have you been always very vulnerable um, with your music and, you know, your feelings or, or was this something you had to kind of work on? It's definitely a skill. <laughs> uh, 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 to find confidence in my vulnerability has been a skill, but I do think that I've always been a deep thinker and very emotional. So to tap in and try to, um, you know, journal every day and find ways to like, um, find a way to put those emotions onto paper, or try to describe them the best I can with words. It, it really has been it's sometimes a challenge still. It's still a skill that I'm working on, but I think I've gotten better probably from doing it more. But yeah. but I think in the beginning, yeah, I was scared to be vulnerable. Um, and I still am in some ways, you know, when Worth It came out, I was really nervous because this song is really almost like a freestyle that mm -hmm. I just made in the studio. And one of the first songs that um, really just flowed out like that. So I was worried, you know, like, you know, I think there's always some fear. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and let's talk about the creative process um, when filming these videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's always a fun time. You know, I reach out to some of my best friends and we, we meet up and we conceptualize together and then we book a day and we go out and we shoot it. Actually, for Fear of Intimacy video, it was a two day shoot. Um, and I love that video because it's kind of bringing a nightmare to life and uh, kind of my worst fears of live performing, you know, like um, the show going completely wrong, me showing up, oh, where's my clothes? It's like a complete <laughs> nightmare. And then I'm getting chased out of the theater and uh, by demons and then demons show up and they're somehow in the concert. It really wow. doesn't make a ton of sense, but it's a real nightmare. And, you know, I think that's the best way that I could try to uh, put a 
put a um, visual to the audio of the song, but um, with Worth It, you know, uh, it, it, we're conceptualizing that one as we speak, but you know, the fans got to go crazy streaming it and uh, adding to their playlists and stuff. And then, you know, if they, if they show the love, there will be a video in no time. Very nice. And I've, you've been getting um, crazy feedback online. So let's talk about some of the, the comments that you've gotten from your fans, because you're talking about really real issues. And I'm sure a lot of people resonate with what you're saying. So let's talk yeah, about some of the feedback. <laughs> Of course, there's been so many nice um, Instagram comments, DMs, um, or if I'm on live stream, live comments, or you know, they have like a guesting feature, which on Instagram where you can like kind of FaceTime someone. Nice. Um, and so there's been great ways to check in with people, see if they're excited, and um, you know, they're so hype, and that that's like. Um, it warms my heart and sometimes I kind of forget that there are people out there that really like this music and relate and are excited and it becomes almost a soundtrack to their life and um, that that means the absolute world and I think people are really loving it you know they really love fear of intimacy I saw their sweet messages and it's all thanks to them for all the love that's been shown and um, with worth it you know already I've seen a lot of replies like <laughs> I love this song you know like stuff like that but yeah. I always to the world and um, yeah I hope that people can connect yeah, absolutely. And how does it feel getting all of this recognition and seeing your hard work pay off? Because you have such a loyal and big fan base that really love your music. So, so are you surprised by your success so far? <laughs> yeah, it's always been a surprise. I try to take uh, it day by day, but it's always been a surprise. There's been so many blessings along the way and um, things that are like just I'm forever grateful to have this fan base and to have this opportunity to you know create for them um and yeah I just hope to keep keep making them proud and uh, keep connecting keep building this family go back out on tour and uh, make memories very exciting and you know I know that earlier this year you also put out a documentary called breathe so for our yeah. viewers that aren't familiar with it let's talk about how Wim Hof had inspired you yeah, you know, um, so Wim Hof is um, one of the most interesting people I've ever come across in life. Um, my therapist actually asked me one day, he said, have you ever tried breathing? And, uh, you know, at the time, that was a dumb question, I got to say. I said, yeah, man, I've been breathing for about 18 years. And, and, he, and this is at the time, I'm 19 now. And he said, um, he said, no, 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 I'm talking about this this type of breath work. And I didn't even know what breath work was at the time. I was like, breath work? And he sent me this guided link. It was uh, to a Wim Hof method breathing. And it was like for beginners online. And he said, I'd really recommend that you try that. I think that can bring you a lot of peace. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm forever grateful for him uh, sharing that with me because I tried it once and mm -hmm. I immediately became connected and so connected and so um, whoa, why did I immediately feel better than like I felt all day at the time? Mm. And you know, also these cold showers and everything that he's doing, the cold exposure mixed with the breathing. Um, and you know, I became so in love with the method, the Wim Hof method and the overall um, person that he is. I, I started watching hours of interviews and, and in no time, <laughs> I was out with my friends one night and I DM'd Wim Hof's Instagram. This is how this documentary <laughs> came about. Uh -huh. And I literally just, I'll, I could read you the DM actually. <laughs> I, said, I said something like, hey, I'm a huge fan and I'd love to bring this to my fan base because they yeah. might not know about this and it can be a huge resource to help. And his son responded, Enam Hof, af off of um, Wim's Instagram. And uh, he said, hey, Jacob. Um, let's organize something. Oh, I, I very nice. Media and he got we got connected through the teams, and in about a month or two, I was out in Amsterdam. Wow. With Wim Hof, we were taking ice baths, we were breathing, we were playing music, and it's on my YouTube channel. It's called Breathe. If you want to learn more, but the overall thing is that the Wim Hof method has changed my life. I do it wow. every single day, the breathing mixed with a cold shower. And I'm up to like five minutes in the cold shower, which is 
I'm proud of myself. But in the documentary, you'll see us do the ice baths and it's, it's really powerful. And for anybody out there that's um, dealing with a lot of stress, I know we all are mm. in different ways. Um, this can just be a good resource and it might not work for everyone, but it definitely, everyone that I've uh, shown and they've started doing this, you know, I get texts probably once a week from someone that says, I've started the cold showers. Thank you, bro. This is lit. And I say, thank Wim Hof, but this is a cool thing. Everyone should be doing it. You know, yeah. a, a cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. Um, <laughs> needs to strengthen our immune systems. That's as, as Wim Hof would say. That's Wim Hof mm. speaking through me right now. <laughs> Very nice. I like that you're working on your personal development. I think that's so important, right? Especially the kind of industry that we're in in entertainment. Um, it can be very stressful. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of, you know, letting go of what people think as well so I like that you're working on that I, I you know I breath work is great because I do meditation myself and it helps me so much in my day when I meditate um, yeah. it changes like the course of my day actually so breath work meditation all of these uh, methods actually really work so I like that you're doing that what's one personal development thing that you do what are you committed to doing daily that's kind of helped you uh, in your career and just uh, your wellness <laughs> yeah, you know, um, building off of the Wim Hof thing, you know, it would be the cold shower every day um, and the breathing. Um, right. After that, I normally do that in the morning and after that I'm good. I'm, you know, I feel better, I feel ready to attack the day. I feel like whatever uh, problems might come my way, I'm ready to handle them just from doing the cold shower. It's really, the cold really shocks you um, and I think being the, the reason why it might help so much is because if you're willing to deal with the discomfort of the cold temporarily and put yourself through that, then for the rest of the day, whatever unexpected problems that pop up, you know, it's almost like whack-a-mole sometimes <laughs> of all these different things. It could be within ourselves, outside of ourselves, all these external, internal problems. and. This allows me to at least have like the focus to know, hey, I have already challenged myself once today, so I feel good. Yeah. It, it just boosts the confidence for the day going forward. Um, and the heart rate's down. I think Wim Hof says, you know, at, uh, <laughs> I think our normal heart rate, I think it can go down, I don't know the exact numbers, but your heart rate goes down for the rest of the day, which is good. You know, when you're stressed, the heart's going crazy. So. Yeah lower you can get it and the most at peace is probably the better mm -hmm. but that's the things that help me and i love smoothies as well <laughs> <laughs> You know what? The cold showers are almost like how life is. You know, you have to get through or fear. You have to get through the discomfort. Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of uncomfortable at first, but once you get through it and you push through the fear, then uh, life becomes good, right? <laughs> so it's almost like an analogy. <laughs> the, the cold is like a mirror, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I created this platform to inspire, to motivate, to uplift my audience and to showcase that anything is possible if you have a vision, a dream, dream so you know what advice would you have for someone that's maybe not seeing their goals manifest going through a difficult time maybe is fearful uh, to take that yeah. next step in their career what advice would you say to them to uplift and inspire them of course yo thank you for doing this platform by the way with that oh, goal because I'm sure so many lives are impacted by that like yeah. that's it amazing and to anybody watching this out there that's got a dream and it might seem too big it might seem it might seem like you're looking at the mountain in front of you and that's where that dream seems i want you to know that starting today your dreams everything all this good positive energy is coming your way and it all starts with your belief that it's possible because mm -hmm. every single thing the light bulb that was invented the telephone this all came from the mind these are mm -hmm. people that came to earth that had a thought of something that wasn't out there already and they followed it and and they changed life forever so if you have ideas that you think no nah, that's too crazy don't don't let them go that's what makes you so special and you're loved you're powerful you're strong you are you're somebody that a lot of people look up to and and just keep shining standing in your light firmly and um 
yeah if anybody tells you that those dreams are crazy well then here's one thing to know be careful who you share your dreams with because you know oftentimes people have a crazy commentary of what we see the dream trust your trust your intuition trust your vision trust your heart and um spread love that's got to be where where it's at and um i wish you luck and you got it because we're all we're all in this together and we're all dream chasing so mm -hmm. uh, i look forward to seeing everybody once we've all accomplished our dreams <laughs> together. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for being on the show today, for being a beacon of light, for being so vulnerable and sharing your emotions. Um, you. You're really inspiring a lot of people and you know, you really, you really deserve all of the attention that you're getting because you're making a difference. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in person one day. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so much for everything. Everybody, Tag TV is the best. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than this.